let's learn how to center some text so that we can we can align things on our website and make things the way we want them to. So I'm going to use this similar example that I've been using so far on my how to make a peanut butter sandwich um, very simple page so far and we have in a previous video we have made this H1 uh, style so that it has a border around it, it has some background color and the font color has been changed to white and we're using a Google font in here for the font family. If you are interested in learning how to do that please watch one of my other videos. Okay so let's talk about how we can center this H1 because it looks a little strange the way it is now. Um, so in H1 told you to think of everything on your web page as a box so here it is in a box very simple to align some text using the text align property in CSS so we'll go ahead and we'll put text align and we will refresh the page because anytime you save you want to refresh the page so here we go how to make a peanut butter sandwich looks a lot better centered um, and then you can, if you wanted to, you could also center other things. Uh, I would recommend that you predominantly just center the H1 tag to make it look good and then keep everything else left aligned. I think that looks good. Um, the next question that people frequently ask is how to center an image. Now, images are a little bit harder because it's not a text property. So there's a couple ways that you can center an image and one of the ways that I like to do it is I like to go and put a box around the image. So I'm going to go grab an image and I will be right back to center it for you. Okay, I have my image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an image right under my step or right above my step one get your ingredients. So here's my step one, get your ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and put my image tag in here. So that's IMGSRC for source. And I'm going to, because I've already copied and pasted my peanut butter sandwich JPEG image in the folder that my HTML page is in, it will automatically come up in the list and it will be formatted. Now, it's always good to have an alt tag to describe your picture. Okay, and then close that image tag. Remember, image tags don't have a typical close because there's not an opening and closing. We just have one tag. Okay, so I'm going to save this and see what it looks like right now. There we go. Here is my peanut butter um, picture, which actually, oddly enough, looks really good with that size that that screen was on. Okay, so as I make the browser window bigger, you'll see that this image is not centered. So if I was to do the logical thing where I would come up here to my CSS and do image text align center, you will see that once I save it, nothing has happened, okay, because it is an image. So because it's an image and it's, it's considered an inline element, in HTML it is not going to move so the way to get around this is to put this inside of a box so you can put it in a div and you could say div class equals um, image one or whatever you want to call it and let me grab my closing div put it at the end here okay so now instead of image text align center I can come up here and put in my class which is going to be a period img1 and then I can say text align center so let's see what that looks like I'm saving it refreshing the page and there we have a centered page now you can still do things to your image tag so if you want to have like a padding around it of maybe five pixels. Maybe you want to have a border, uh, one pixel silver solid, and maybe a margin of five pixels to make it look really nice. Let's see what that does to it. So that was it 
centered and then here is it nicely uh, with the border you might want to do some other things here maybe I want a padding of 10 and a border of 2 that will thicken up that that border line a bit so you can do things like that um, and that is one way to center an image so we've got centering text centering image so uh, h1 any of the h tags can be centered like this any paragraphs can be centered uh, things that require that are in line you'll need to put them inside of a box and then center that box like we did here okay I did show you um, how to make a class here and this is one way that we can make a rule based on an, a name that we have provided for an element so because a div is something that I probably will use more than once in my web page by the time it's done you can name your div with a class or an ID so depending on um, whether you're going to be reusing this element throughout the your web page uh, you'll either use a class or ID but that'll be a different video okay thanks bye